um, as well. So I'm wearing the necklace. There's a whole jewelry assortment. And Just then you have to see things. the cutest earrings, too. Oh, yes. I love the Coke earrings and yeah. also my sweatshirt. You can find it all on our website. Look how cute, you guys, mm -hmm. as a stocking stuffer. Can you stick? Is that a piece of? I have the little square. That's a piece of the Coca Cola bottle, the red band that's around the Coca Cola bottle. Oh, how I have the pair that? that are just square Those instead square of longer. And you can see them all on hsn.com. Yes, okay, now things. I think this is an interesting stat. <laughs> of all the items in the world of Coca Cola, right? This is your number one most popular. The bottle bank, day in and day out. It's functional. It is fantastically representative of one of the icons of our company. What's not to love about the contour bottle? And you can feel good about putting your change in it. I told someone earlier, my brother's family in Colorado funded part of their trip to Disney World a couple of years ago with the money that they just threw in there every day over the course of a couple of years. They'd throw in a $20 bill here and there. Before they knew it, they had, I think it was well over $1,000. So, but you, we were laughing. You better be sure of where you want to put it because once you start to put those coins in there, it gets a little heavy and funny? it can hold a lot. Now, by producer Steven, who uh -huh. you met Steven, right? he's in my ear and he goes, he bought this for Zane, his son. And he said, what he's going to do is going to give it to him on Christmas and right. say, once you have it filled, then you get to pick a trip and we'll spend the money on a trip. See, that's See? right. And that's a great little kind of goal to have right? as well, you know? So, a lot of lessons there. I have to remind you, though. If you didn't see the beginning of the show, I mentioned this is its first airing and probably its last. We sold ahead of time, in just the beginning of the show without us really talking about it, right. almost 600. Wow. I'm down to the final thousand, so this is going to sell out. It is very lightweight now, thank goodness, because <laughs> we had one of our producers, another Steve Rocky, he came in and he filled his up. He said he had to... <laughs> I wish we had footage of that. I wish. He literally had to take it and lay it down on the ground and roll it into roll the grocery into store. Roll it into a lot. Into the, into the grocery store where they have one of those coin machines. And he said he got enough money out of it to pay for his trip to Europe to buy his plane ticket. So it's That's amazing crazy. what you could do to, just by kind of collecting your pocket change. Well, and the fun thing about this is you can see it. Because my daughter has a piggy bank. But her piggy bank is a pig. And she can't see it. That's she true. can rattle it and she can see but then you can actually see what you're putting in here and you've got that sense of accomplishment you've got the bottom covered whoo that's probably like a dollar and a half but then you start putting in some quarters and some silver dollars and again just drop in a 10 here and there a 20 dollar bill before you know it you're up to the belly band and you've got another little you know five inches to go so it's almost where you can gauge i'm at a hundred i'm at two hundred dollars i'm at three hundred dollars and you really can see what you're doing. So I think that's a fantastic little game to play with, with whomever in your house if you're just trying to get that goal accomplished. Yeah. Well, you know, Sherry said, oh, and by the way, we just put our counter up, what, 700? Yeah. Okay, gang, I just want to warn you. <laughs> First off, if this was a giant, Stop. giant Coke right now, I'd be like, gong, gong, gong. <laughs> but it's actually $12 and, what, 95 cents. It's that gift that, do you have a guy like Sherry, her brother-in-law, real hard to buy for. This is awesome for guys mm -hmm. because they come home with all the pocket change. Right. And what do they do? Throw it in a bowl, throw it on a little tray, start sticking it in here. So even if you put it by your dresser mm -hmm. and your husband just throws his change in, and then maybe at your summer vacation. That would be so much fun for the whole family. How about right. the whole family go, you know what, every time you have change, at the end of the day, throw it in here. And when we fill it up, we're going to go to Coca-Cola World in Atlanta. <laughs> Come see Jackie in Atlanta. Go see Jackie. Ask for Jackie. Everyone go. No, she'll be like, really, Suzanne? Thanks a lot. All right, let's say hi to Edie or Eddie in Georgia. I think it's Edie. Hello? Edie hi. in Georgia? Or Eddie. Eddie, I'm sorry, Eddie. How are you? Pretty good. How y'all doing tonight? I'm good. Yay. Jackie, you've got somebody from Georgia. I know. Thank you. What part of Georgia? I'm in South Georgia right now, but I used to live in Atlanta for 16 years. Oh, great. Have you ever been to the world of Coca-Cola? No, but I did have, did have a chance to uh, talk with them one time when I found four old Coke cans up in the ceiling of an old condo building no. uh, that I was working at. Oh, wow. Did, was it, were they worth anything? They were worth $25 uh, each wow. at the time. They, they were the red and white diamond pattern. Uh-huh. And they dated back to the early uh, 60s. Nice. No way. Why do you think they were in the ceiling of a condo? <laughs> <laughs> More than likely, people that uh, either built the building or worked at the building were drinking them and just threw them up there. Isn't that and funny? That's funny. Did you keep them or did you? I kept them. Oh, <laughs> so, so you actually still have them today? 
Well, I sold three of them, but I still have one left. That is wow. the coolest story. Well, I hope you're enjoying our show today. Oh, yeah. That's great. Hope it's not just an experience. It's true Americana. It's very Americana. Well, thank you, Eddie, and thanks for sharing your awesome story. I love it. That's great. I think that's the most unusual story we've heard today so far. It is? Up in the condo ceiling. That's where I store my Coke. <laughs> Might be better in the fridge, but hey, whatever rocks your boat, right? There you go. <laughs> All right, um, here's how, oh, yeah. You know what? We're probably going to talk about this for two minutes, and okay. then it's going to be gone. Awesome gift. And if anybody is a Coke freak, it loves Coca-Cola, collects, and you have this, and the box is going to be a fun size. Right. This is just going to be one of those gifts they go, oh, my gosh, that is so much fun. Also, you know what I would do? Because I'm figuring you probably take this off to yep, get the money out. Seashells, how many of you have a huge... That's a great point. See, there you go. Watch, guys. If you have a giant, like, say you go to the beach every year, or you've got a giant seashell collection, I think it'd be really cool to mm -hmm. fill it up with your seashells. Different things. Wouldn't that be cool? Sure. Or marbles. Mar I was going to say, marbles <gasps> would be great. Go. Great minds think alike. Ah, there you go. Marbles, okay. but especially... The money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Show me the money. You Show can see it. this all through the thing. You literally will, right? You I will. think it's so much fun. And this is the classic shape, right? It is the contour bottle from 1916. That's what you can actually just reach into an ice bucket with your eyes closed, grab the side of it, and you know what it is. That's why the company wanted to have a shape that was identifiable with Coca-Cola, because there were so many impersonators at the time. So we had to have something that was definitively Coca-Cola. I love it. I yes. absolutely love it. And by the way, if you want, we have a really cool trio of Coca-Cola bottles. Right. And it's a contest they held a while back, right? It's just the progression of the bottles through the ages. And yes, yeah. in 1915, the company wanted to have a bottle that was, again, really identified as Coca-Cola because so many other companies, Celery Cola, Chaka Cola, <laughs> are every, every cola you no can imagine. No Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola there were. <laughs> it was kind of crazy, the names they had, but they all had the same straight-sided bottle. So you weren't sure if you were getting a Coca-Cola or not because the paper labels on the outside had washed off when they were in the ice buckets. Oh, so they wanted to make sure that you could reach into that ice bucket because you were thinking about times when they didn't have refrigeration. You were reaching into the ice to get your Coca-Cola. Right. They wanted to make sure that that's what you were coming out with. So the contour shape fits into the palm of your hand yeah. and was just clearly identifiable. And this is now sold out, but if you go online and